Hello and welcome to Delicious Simplicity. I'm Anna Trotakis. Today I'm making lunch for a few friends. And on the menu we have rotisserie chicken salad on fancy rolls, a delicious tomato salad with Greek dressing, and maple infused yogurt on sponge cake. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the special bread, the special spread for my um, for my rolls that goes with the chicken salad. So I'm going to grate about half a cup of um, cheddar cheese, and I take the easy way out. I leave some of the wrapper on so I can re rewrap it afterwards. And I have one of these little handy table graters, and these up. This is perfect because it makes it it shreds it just enough, so it doesn't grate it but it shreds it just enough, and I need about half a cup of this. You can do it right in the bowl. I do about half a cup. There we go. I think that does it. So then I just wrap this back up. So then I'm gonna, and I did it here on parchment paper. And put it in my bowl, so that's about half a cup. And then to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of um, white wine vinegar. In that goes. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of mustard. And then I'm also going to chop up some parsley, about a quarter of a cup. So I like to kind of take it off the stems first. We're going to chop this up really fine, almost mince it. And I like to do it by hand. I don't want to put it in those little mini mini choppers, although I love those because they use they're so practical. I use it all the time. So I need about a quarter of a cup, so I might add a little more. This should do it. So I'm going to do it really fine, mince it almost. And this is really um, nice what I like to do with when I'm cooking. What I really love to do is have some few friends over and not do anything too fancy, just really simple that you can assemble um, it in minutes. And sometimes um, I prefer to sort of put all the ingredients out and then people can help themselves. So this is about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to put that in here, that in my bowl. I'm also um, going to put in a clove of gar garlic. Now, I'm not a big fan of garlic, but I like the aroma that it gives the dish, especially when eat it, eaten um, fresh. So I like to put it in whole and then take it out. But if you like, if you like it, then by all means, chop it up fine and, and just, you know, leave it in there. I'm going to add one tablespoon of um, olive oil. And then I'm just going to mix it all together with a fork. And you'll see it'll turn into like a paste. This smells really nice. The combination of the white vinegar, uh, the mustard, the Dijon mustard that I use, the parsley, and the garlic. Fabulous. Okay, so you would do this a little bit ahead of time. You could actually do it the night before if you'd like. Here we go. So isn't that looking fantastic? So after we do that, we are going to do the chicken salad. Now for the chicken salad, I'm taking a big shortcut. And that shortcut is by using um, rotisserie chicken. And what I'm going to do is just take the breast portion of it. And I have it here. I'm going to cut this off. Just like that. 
So you couldn't make it, fr you know, you couldn't make it from scratch, like baking it at home. But these days, who has the time? And as usual, many times when you decide to have a party or something, there's so many other things that come up. So this is a great way to have a nice, a nice time with a few friends over for lunch and it's relaxing. You don't have to worry about things burning in the oven or anything like that. It's great. There we go. So then I'm going to quarter this up. So now that I have my chicken here, I'm going to cube it. This makes a good generous serving for about four servings. So if you're having more people for lunch, more friends, then you might want to maybe think about getting a couple. So I need one celery stalk that I'm going to cut up as well. I'm going to cut this into small um, dices. So I look for a piece that's about you know, like you, like this this big. It's um, so that it's not too much. I don't want to. I want to really taste this chicken. I don't want to taste too much celery. I'm going to see how much this cuts up into. If it's too much, I might not use it all. I'll just sort of eyeball it. I'm going to do this in small dices. Yeah, I think this is about a good amount. I think I want a medium small as opposed to a small small. Put that in there. Then I'm going to use some mayonnaise. All right. So here I'm used. I have the chicken. Now I have the um, celery. I'm going to add two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And what would chicken salad be without mayonnaise? I'm going to put two tablespoons generous here. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of apple cider. This really makes a big difference. It gives it so much flavor. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of um, mustard. And that goes in. And then you just mix it. The apple cider vinegar really adds a little kick to it, but just but just enough to make it stand out, but not not like overbearing. So that's ready. There we have his beautiful chicken salad. And now we're going to make it into a sandwich. So here's the bread. We're just going to uh, move it nice. And you want to use a nice soft bread. These are uh, soft French rolls. Um, and um, but any like uh, an egg bread would would work well as well. So you just want it to be nice and soft. 
So here is the spread, and it smells wonderful. Just spread some of it. It really makes the sandwich. It's just amazing. So I'm making this, so when you have your friends over, you can just put everything on the table and each one can help themselves. Nice spoonful. How's that? The next thing we are working on is the tomato salad. Here I have these beautiful cherry tomatoes. They're all different colors, and um, they're so gorgeous looking. We got these at Calories of Farm Standing Garden Center. They have lots of tomatoes, really sweet this time of the year. So I'm going to cut these in half. So these are, they call these uh, cherry tomatoes too, but I think they're a little big. But not, they're not quite as big as the Campari cherries. They're, those are just a little bigger. But what's nice about um, these these kind of cher cherries is that what's nice about these kind of grapes is that they are really sweet. So in the uh, in the winter, um, uh, we're in prime season for tomatoes now almost, or just the tail end of it. But in the winter, I always buy the small the small cherry tomatoes because they actually are better tasting. So I'm going to cut these into half. So when your friends are over for lunch, you'll have these already cut up. And you can just assemble everything just as they were coming in, you know. Or you can, eat, you can actually have them um, help you out putting things together, which is kind of nice. I'll show you. This is a good amount here. So to this, I'm going to add a little bit of green onion or scallion. I'm just going to add the green part. So I thought I would keep this salad simple today for my friends, and I would, uh, so, so the, the Greek dressing on it is um, simple and yet tasty, and it really makes this very uh, sort of um, tasteful and makes it a great side to the chicken salad. One of the other key ingredients that I'm using today is the, a little bit of arugula on top. So I'm going to cut this up. Leave some bigger knife. I'm gonna ch I'm not, I don't want to use too much because because I only want I, I I want just enough to give it some color. Sort of replacing the basil. But I like how the um, the arugula works with tomatoes as well. I like that little bite that it has. Almost balances out the the tomato flavor. So I'm gonna put this on top. And then we're going to add a, some, uh, a tablespoon. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil. Sprinkle that. Oh, maybe a little more than a tablespoon. It's a lot of tomatoes. And I'm going to sprinkle some salt. And I'm also going to add my secret ingredient, which is some sherry vinegar instead of regular white red wine vinegar. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this. Again, I'm just going to pour. Just 
a little. And then I'm going to toss it. So for the Greek part of it, For the Greek part of it, I'm going to add some um, feta cheese, about a two inch piece I'm going to cut out. And I'm just going to crumble it all over the top. You could make the dressing separately, like, you know, put it in a little shaker and shake it all and mix the, the oil, the vinegar, and the feta and just um, do it that way. I like to do it uh, separately, individually. I think it flavors the food better. I think the oil coats the food better. Um, so I prefer it that way. So you have a little bit of feta cheese here just to give it flavor. And then the ultimate Greek seasoning is oregano. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that on top. How's that? I think that's fabulous. Get that over to the table. Next on the list for our menu is the dessert. So this is the maple infused yogurt on, on, sponge, on sponge cake. So I'm gonna use about uh, a couple of cups of plain yogurt. You can use any of those, the different kinds of 2%, 5% fat or whatever. I'm using zero because that's what I typically use, but so I'm going to need about two cups. This is nice, thick Greek yogurt. Makes a lot. Two cups of yogurt is a lot. So I think that's about two cups. Then to this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of powdered sugar or confectionery sugar. And what I find is that the confectionery sugar kind of thins it out a little bit and it just gives it sort of um, a smoother texture. So I'm just going to add about a tablespoon. So this is the kind of lunch that you can you put out all the, the food, you put it on the table, and people just kind of help themselves. Uh, it's really kind of a fun, relaxing uh, time. You can also serve this. Sometimes, you know, maybe lunch is too late and um, it's 5 o'clock and no one has had a chance to grab lunch or anything, and you go into the movies. So this is a quick meal as well. And also now I'm going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup to sweeten it up. So I like to add my own sweetener to yogurt. So for this, uh, so when I'm using it like this, I gotta get the plain and then add a sweetener to it, or flavoring to it, rather than buying the flavored one. This is a meal that you can put together right after work, too, if you want to do this for dinner for a light uh, night, uh, whether it's in the summer or fall or winter. One thing about when you have people over, you're entertaining, you just want to do something that's a little different. So I like to always um, try to, if I have them, have use some a different uh, uh, sort of a table um, dish or something. So here I like this, I'm gonna use this, I would use this little um, bowl that has, the, it's a little fancier, it's a little different.
So you can do simple food, but make it look like it's sort of special and, and extraordinary simply by um, changing something, maybe changing an ingredient or changing the bowl you're serving it in, like such as I'm doing now. There's one more thing that we need to do to this, and you can keep this then seasonal too. So right now I'm going to use, um, I'm going to top this with minced fruit, uh, and I'm going to be using pears and um, plums. So you want a really nice done pear. So this is a box pear, which I love. And I'm going to peel it. So I'm going to cut it in half. You may not need the whole thing. But here at Delicious Simplicity, we like to do things simple. But yeah, we want them to be delicious and we want them to look pretty. I'm a big proponent of having food look good. So we eat with our eyes first. We want to make sure that it looks nice on the plate. Looks nice on the plate, on the table, and on your plate as well. I'm doing this really rough now, but you can do it nice and slow and peel it just right. Anyways, I'm going to quarter it like this to get rid of the seeds here in the middle. what I like to do. Get this. So I kind of into matchsticks like, oops, <laughs> like that. And that way, all I do is chop, and they're uh, going to be all pretty much the same size. And I'm going to sprinkle these right on top here. So I was, I was saying earlier that you can keep these, uh, the, this recipe seasonal looking by changing the fruit that you use. So if it's, you know, right in the summer, we're in September here now, so pears and plums are, are plenty. Now it's just, um, before, before coming here today, I was t teaching a nutrition class and we were actually discussing the food groups and how to get, what, why are they important, and what nutrients do you get from each food group. And it may seem so confusing sometimes about nutrition, oh, what do you eat, how do you know what to eat, how do you know what not to eat. But really, there's only five food groups. There's only five food groups. And so once you um, think of it in those terms, uh, it's sort of it's easy. Then you only have like five choices. Um, so I'm going to save this piece because I think I have plenty there. And I'm going to do the plum. I think I'm going to do this one. So I think really this meal is both nutritious, delicious, and easy. Not because you want to eat anything else. So we pretty much have all the groups represented here. We have the dairies in the, in the yogurt. We have the fruit. We have the vegetables in the tomatoes. We have the, um, the, gra the, the grains in the bread, ch uh, the protein in the chicken. How's that? Is that pretty? I might just use one of the darker pears, the, the one of the darker plums, and just the edge, because I want to add just a little bit more color. So the amounts of the ingredients I gave you, uh, if you can almost have guessed, is that there's sort of um, a guide, but you don't have to use the exact, sort of use what you'd like. There we go. How about the little tiny piece of each? Do this on one side.
they do the pair on the other. Oops, that's not. How's that? Isn't that pretty? I'm telling your friends will love it. And so we'll put this on a side here because there's one more thing that we need. Put that aside. So we are going to serve this delicious, healthy topping of fruits and yogurt and maple syrup on these beautiful little sponge cakes. Just make your own if you'd like, but these are so cute. Look at that. Perfect. Well, you know what? We'll do it like that. Oh, they smell really nice. There's a lot of vanilla in here, which will go really nice with the... Uh, with the yogurt. So then everyone will just get a dollop of the yogurt for the cake. So here we have the um, sponge cake, and everyone can help themselves and spoon some real, look at that, isn't that beautiful? How's that? A lovely lunch for friends. I think this is a lot of, this is a fun lunch to, to make and a, a fun lunch to share, a nutritious lunch to share as well. Um, to top it all. So it's, it's a great time to spend with your friends. So I invite you to have a few friends over for lunch and prepare them a special meal that they think you spent all week preparing. I want to thank Calories at Farm Standing Garden Center for um, helping us uh, with a lot of the produce and other, in and other ingredients that we have here today. So um, today we've made a beautiful, delicious, simple chicken salad using rotisserie chicken served on a fancy, um, soft French roll. We've made a great tomato salad with Greek dressing and delicious maple-flavored maple yogurt uh, on sponge cakes. Thank you for sh joining us, and looking forward to do it again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>